Hello everybody, I am the Worm, and welcome back to Steins Gate. Last time, something pretty freaky happened, and I'm gonna try and... Well, try to understand that a bit, because... I mean, it was pretty creepy, all things considered. Uh, but before that, uh, first thing to mention just in terms of just uh, the sort of general information we got last time, is we, we, we met a new character. We met a Mr. Hashida Itaru, who is nicknamed Daru, and we found out where our characters seem to be living, or at least where they hang out. I'm not too sure, actually. Apparently, this building, which is in Akihabara, or near it, somewhere, um, is owned by uh, someone named Tenoji, and there is a brawn tube uh, store or, or repair shop, and then he has, al he has allowed our characters to um, live on, a, on the, one of the floors above. Um, and he can do that because, well, I'm not sure if he charges rent or I'm not sure exactly what the situation is here, but um, I think our our guy Rintaro said that um, he, as property values are rising here, he's, you know, it's it's a valuable property or something like that. So that's interesting. Um, so yes, uh, it looks like they're running. They're, I don't. I'm not entirely sure what to call this exactly. They, his group, which is just Rintaro, um, Daru, and Mayuri, they hang out here, and um, Mayuri makes costumes, and Daru and Rintaro seem to be making different devices they've made eight of them so far and uh, the one we're talking about now is this uh, microwave here so that's all of that oh it even says number eight on here how about that um but oh and is this the other thing they talked about oh interesting all all eight of them might actually be in this in this uh picture here uh okay so let's dive into the the big thing that happened last time the big thing was when Rintaro was going to send a message to Daru, actually. It was before we met him. And he sent a message. It was about uh, the, the potential murder that we just saw involving Makise, Makise Karusu. And... At, at some point... Reality seemed to warp, and then everyone disappeared, and no one was around. Um, and it, in that moment, it seems to reality seems to have changed. So now the satellite, instead of resting on the roof of the building, which is called Radicon, I believe, I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly. Uh, the satellite seems to have actually crashed into the building, um, which is quite incredible, really. Um, but I, I don't know enough about uh, how that would work. It didn't burn up in the atmosphere, and yet it didn't, it wasn't, it only, it, it didn't destroy the building. It just got lodged into the side of it. I don't know. I'm not sure how that would all shake out in reality. But um, the, the reason, it turns out the reason why everyone had disappeared was because the police had blocked off the street and the area. Um and yet, uh, Rintaro and Mayuri were still there. So that's that's le left me with tons of questions about what's going on here. And so I'm going to lay out my thought on my initial thought of what what's going on here. I know timeline it, time travel is a big thing in this game, but it didn't really seem like time travel specifically. Usually, you'd think you'd go back or f forth. But, you know, to the future, to the past. But this seemed something like uh, the same time, but uh, just 
a different it's the present but uh, a different a different timeline maybe a different reality I, i'm not sure exactly what terminology to use here um and so a few questions here what well first is what what is the cause of this you know i'm i'm somewhat suspicious of the phone itself we got a weird email not too long ago that was just a it was sort of static i'm not sure if that's related but if it was the phone what what about the phone caused this to occur was it uh was it sending the email was it sending it specifically to daru was it was it just uh something that was going to happen since we got that message um, or, or did all of this, is the phone, is that, a, is that a red herring? Is the phone not related to it at all? And it was just, it's just so happened that while we were sending an email, we, reality shifted somehow. Uh, I don't know, but, um, I guess we'll have to wait to see. One thing I do want to comment on, I didn't, I meant to comment on this last time, but I had, I'd forgotten about it. Um, Maki Sakurisu, we actually got to see briefly an article written about her when uh, Rintaro was explaining about her. And um, let me go to my notes real quick. Okay, so Makisa had a theory. And uh, I just wrote down the quote from that article. It says, converting an entire human to data is impossible, but converting a human's memories may be possible. And I want to suggest here that that might be the primarily how this, you know, time traveling system is going to work. Um, we're not going to be physically moving but maybe memories will be sent back in different timelines something like that um at least that that would seem to me to be um a, a possibility here and of course that raises that's a whole another can of worms so if you send memories is it uh, here's here's what i'm curious about my yuri had a weird statement um, when when everyone disappeared, you know, Rintaro was freaking out, and he shook Mayuri and said, you know, where, where did all the people go? What's going on? And Mayuri said something like, oh, but they the, um, they were never here. Like, it, this is just how it was. They, they were gone the whole time. Um, that makes me think that, you know, maybe, uh, maybe this is a separate timeline you know one very similar to the one we were just in and maybe the rentaro of this timeline because because mayuri wasn't freaking out and again it, it's kind of a toss-up you know maybe it's because maybe it's just because she's airheaded oh, i don't know i don't know not enough information yet um anyway to sum up i think we might might have jumped into a, a separate but similar reality to the one we were just in but obviously we're going to need to wait until we know more before we can truly say that. Um, yes, so that's pretty much it. <laughs> uh, let's continue on. We were uh, talking about our number eight invention here, the phone wave, um, which is just a remote control microwave. So let's uh, continue on from there. Okay. Everything all right? Looks good. Okay. The phone wave, name subject to change, is simple to use. It's a microwave with a phone taped on. Fair enough. The number is already in my address book. I just need to call the phone wave. Now, where did I put my phone? I checked my pants and coat pockets. Now, where did I put my phone? I checked my pants and my coat pockets. Now, where did I put my phone? I checked my pants and my coat pockets. Oh, you just messing with me, game. To bring up the phone, click the date at the top left corner or press the phone trigger button. Use it to call the phone wave name subject to change. You can check the controls using the help. Okay. Ah, so the game is just prompting me here. Okay. Uh, uh huh. Yep, we saw this. 
I still have this thing here. Did we have all this last time? I thought it was just static. Or is there an attachment? There's no attachment anymore. Uh huh. Okay. Don't know what that's about. Couldn't I couldn't I click on the attachment before or or was that I'd have to go back and check. Not sure. Uh address book. We haven't met Ferris yet. Oh, can't even click on it. Or Lukaku, whoever that is. Phone weave, call. I'm connected. R E N G. This is the voice of Mayushi Guidance, the system Daru programs to operate the phone wave. マイシーの声聞こえてきた。少し黙れ。マイシーガイダンスが聞こえなくなる。こちらからタイマー操作ができます。シャープボタンを押した後、温めたい秒数をプッシュしてください。Entering the command properly will cause the phone wave, name subject to change, to function like a normal microwave. Instead, we're going to deliberately mess up and enter a uh, 120 number. Oh my goodness, look at this. What if I don't want to do that? 900. Crap, I messed up. Okay. So we have to do this. That should do it. This method was originally a simple mistake on Mayuri's part, but it somehow started the freezing process. The phone wave, name subject to change, comes to light. The turntable begins to rotate. Kirena turntable daro. I never noticed that. そこに重大な意味があるかもしれない。両親の振る舞いにも影響してくる問題であり、奮闘の規則を導入して。Okay, let's let's figure that out. Huns rule. The rule governing the placement of an atom's electrons. The rule states that orbitals of the same energy are each filled with one electron of the same spin before any are filled with a second, also known as Hun's rule of maximum multiplicity. Got it. And by got it, I mean... I, I don't really got it. Oh boy, okay. This is, uh, uh, physics, I would say. But, uh, this is, this is certainly, uh, beyond me. I don't know, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I would need some kind of visual reference for me to understand this, because I'm not entirely sure what it's saying. Okay. Aru <laughs> Three of us wait and stare at the spinning bananas. After 120 seconds pass, the microwave chimes. Mayuri takes the bananas out. Whoa. Uh, the bananas have become not bananas. 
gelatinous blobs coated with a thin membrane. After Mayuri discovered that the phone wave name subject had changed, had a freezing function, we attempted to freeze a bunch of bananas. This is what happened. It just gets more confusing each time. Yeah, I should say so. Daruyo. Kono banana. Tabete miyo to wa omanai ka omou hazu da. Ware ra no 2 nen tassei no gisei to nari chitta daru ni. Kere. Sugei mazu sou jan. Aji wa kanke nai. Taberu koto ni imi ga aru no da. Sa daruyo. Enryo suru koto wa nai. おねは拾ってやるから思い切ってずずいと行くがいい。いらね。ではまゆり。お前にその名誉を譲ろう。なんかね、ゲルバナは中身がデロデロでブニュブニュだったよ。I <笑> デロデロでブニュブニュか。誰よ。どう思う?ブニュブニュバナナか。ブニュブニュのバナナ。マユシ、あなたのバナナ。ブニュブニュだねって言ってみて。あは。ダル君、ダル君。鼻血出てる。いいから言ってみてください。お願いします。あなたのバナナ、ブニュブ。言わせるな、手の額。Dora retreats after I hit him with a tissue box. Mary looks at us with an innocent smile. She doesn't get it, obviously. Anyway. ゲル状になったということは反固形。すなわち、分子同士の結びつきが弱くなっている可能性がある。How long does it take for them to put a living thing in there? What could have partially, partially liquefied the bananas? そうか、わかったぞ! I turn to the whiteboard and write freezing in the middle, then I cross it out and slap the board with my hand. 俺たちは… A bold statement, if I do say so myself. So why isn't anyone surprised? So, my Their reactions are pathetically weak. Mayuri probably didn't even understand half of what I said. Oh. Oh。問題はじゃあこの機能って何ぞ何が起きてんのってことじゃん。冷凍の逆なら解凍じゃないのかな。実に愚鈍な意見だな、マユリ。それでは普通の電子レンジと同じではないか。じゃあどういうこと
Summer credits, basically. We have to attend seminar and write a report. Come to think of it, what's today's seminar about again? I looked it up before the summer holiday began. I should have written it down. I, I got mail. From Mayuri. It's the same day still. Okay. Oh, wait a second. This is something. You know, I'm really sad about dropping my upa. It's worse than last year when I missed my fatty ghetto froggy. So, okay. Interesting. Ooh, look at this. Uh, well, before I do that. So, that event still happened. We still bought... Presumably this is the same upa. The, the metal upa we bought that has her name on it. She, she still bought it and dropped it. What does that mean? <laughs> okay. Reply. I feel you're saying that thing was worse. There was worse than our thing. RZ. That's the one from last year, right? I thought you weren't interested. Oh, so this is a choice. Oh my goodness, there, there are choices in this game. What should I do? Well, just just for the sake of it, I'll only go with one, but how about I uh, save? And then if I need to or want to, I can come back and check out the other response. Um. Let's talk about the Upa. I want to potentially hear more about that. Since that's what happened after, uh, or that, that's what happened be right before that weirdness occurred. Okay, I guess, I guess we just have to wait. Okay. As we cross the overpass that connects UPX and Daibiru, I look down to see a huge crowd of people moving through the plaza. Kanagawa. There are even some garishly dressed young men and women, the sort you don't usually see around Akiba. Everyone is walking toward the main street, which is still cordoned off. Oh, so that's why he was staring at his phone earlier. We enter Daibiru and take the elevator to the fifth floor, ATF Assembly Hall. Ah, <laughs> Unlike the lab, Daibiru has air conditioning. Yet another reason for our diligent participation in the seminar. I won't give in that easily. Even if no other lab members use name subject to change, I will carry on until the day we decide its true name. そんなことは言うな。信羅万象を超越って。つまり何でもありってことじゃね。理論ってレベルじゃねえぞ。誰よ。電話レンジ括弧仮は uh-huh, and what does Steinsgate mean to you exactly? I'm curious. 
そのシュタインなんとかってところからして意味不明なわけだが。Chime signals our arrival on the fifth floor, and just in time to not be able to hear his explanation, of course. The elevator doors open slowly. As we step out of the elevator, <gasps> I bump into someone. I quickly grab the person's shoulder to keep them from falling. <laughs> It's a girl. And I recognize her. <gasps> Impossible. Chills run down my spine. I stare at her face in disbelief. I saw this girl just three hours ago. Makise Karisu. Ano. Nanika. So. Mayuri remembers the Upa and losing the Upa. Will Makise Karisu remember anything? Karisu frowns and tries to back, up, back away. But I don't let go of her shoulder. My grip tightens. Karisu. I, I, I need to get. So I guess I'll just. I know. Sometimes I get confused about how to call characters.、Um, so we have ok, Okabe. Ok, Okabe. Uh, Rintaro.、Um, on the bottom it says Rintaro when he speaks, so I guess I should just call him that.、And、then for Daru, I've been saying Daru is a nickname, but it also says Itaru, so I guess I could use either maybe. Mayuri is just Mayuri. Okay, so I think I've been saying Makisa for her, but maybe I should be using Krisu? Okay. He's so much! Maybe not the best thing to say, but actually fair considering what he has seen. There isn't a single bloodstain on her clothes, and they're the same ones she was wearing when I found her. Only a serious wound could have produced that much blood. Yet, as far as I can tell, she's completely uninjured. Krisu pushes me away. Then she shoots me a wary glare. I realize that I'm gaping in disbelief. Daru interrupts. Wait, there's something strange about what he just said. またその話とはどういう意味だだって一週間前にも僕にそんなメール送ってきたじゃん。What? Sent me that email like a week ago. マキセクリスが殺されているのを見たのはほんの3時間前だぞ。ちょっと勝手に殺さないでくれますか？私ピンピンしてますんで。そういえばあのメール変な感じだったな。送信日時が1週間後になってた。つまり未来から来たっつう
お前がとんでも理論を言い出すのは珍しい違うがな確かにメールの日付は1週間後のえっと28あそっか28日だから今日じゃんオーケー、フィーライク、リンタロウ。オーケー、オーケー、オーケー。そう、そう、what this is implying is that we somehow went back a week into the past. But there's, there's, there's weirdness involved with that. So, presumably, satellite crashes into the building and then they move it up to the roof and leave it there, I guess. At least for a week. And that's when, I guess. No, 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 no. Uh, no, 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 no. That doesn't work, does it? What's going on here? No, 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 no. Because this is. I think I've got it backwards. Because today's the day it crashed. The 28th. Yeah, this has to be a, like an alternate timeline or, or reality to the one we were just in. And so, wait, so. A week ago in this reality, Daru got a, a, an email from Rintaro saying, you know, it was Ma Maki Sakurisu who got stabbed. Mm. Okay, I need more. Continue. T tell me more, Daru, please. Daru pulls out his phone and shows it to me. He's right. The email was sent from my phone. You received it on July 1st at 12.56. Okay. I feel like these dates and times are going to be important, so I'll probably mark them down later. Ah, oh, that must be creepy to see. But it was sent on July 8th at 1254? It was split into three mails. Someone stab. Bid stabbed Makisuke. Kurisu, don't. Why did I send such a short message in three parts? And it looks like the third email got cut off. I do recognize the content, though. <laughs> But I sent one mail, not three, and there should be more text. Did Daru really get this a week ago? Suddenly, Karisu is standing next to me, peering intently at the screen of Daru's phone. Oh, right. The email is not important. Well, maybe it is, but not right now. The real question is why is she still alive? Is she an illusion? No, an evil spirit. Am I haunted? I don't believe in such unscientific dribble. I am a mad scientist. I timidly reach out to Chrisu's face. My fingertips stroke her hair. Feels silky. Quite the cuticles. Yahari. <laughs> I poke Chris's cheek with my fingers. Such softness, dead bodies don't feel, don't feel like this, not that I've ever touched one. Oi! Wait a minute. 
I've already touched when I bumped into her coming out of the elevator. I even grabbed her shoulders before being pushed away. And I still doubted that she had substance. That's just proof of how confused I am. If she's alive, then what did I see back at Rady Khan? What was that scream I heard? Were they hallucinations? Just like the mass disappearance? That's right, she was stabbed. Maybe she's just hiding her wounds. This requires further investigation. Uh-huh. I grabbed the hem of her blouse and slowly lift. It looks like it, yeah. I stare straight back at Karisu as she trembles with anger and lift her blouse a, blouse a little higher. She pushes my hand away. What is that? Fictional, the main heroine of the anime, uh, the familiar of Ten, Sundere. Her voice actress is the queen of Sundere, Sugamiya Rie, nicknamed Sugyu. Okay. Tyra shouts something silly, but I ignore him and press Krisu. That's not what he means. Chris's face turns bright red. She firmly pulls her blouse down. He means the wounds. There's no wounds. Earlier this afternoon, after Dr. Nakabachi's presentation, someone killed Makisa Kurisu and left her in a pool of blood. Just watch, it'll be something... She she tripped and fell into uh, a bunch of... a pool of juice that, that someone had spilled by accident. That's the truth. I carefully explain everything that I saw. Eh? Dr. Nakabachi? オカリ、何言ってるん?中鉢の発表会なら中止になったじゃん。中止。そう、人工衛星の墜落で。Yeah, hang on a second. Let me look at my notes. I definitely I the notes I'm taking, I have it I don't just separate it into the categories, but I separate it into episodes, and in episode one, I definitely have the date being uh, July 28th, 728. I definitely have that there. So it's not like this was, you know, 721 at the beginning of last of the uh, first couple episodes. So something is is definitely very wrong here. It's the same thing that happened right after I saw the mass disappearance. Yes, here. Th this is what I mentioned at the beginning of this episode. Mayuri's story didn't match mine. I need to know. Am I caught in some sinister plot? Yeah, um, I, I, I didn't have a... I had some difficulty explaining it at the, at the beginning of this episode. She said something like, there, there, was, there, there were never people here. That makes me think... Okay, again, if we're thinking about memories being transferred over or something... This is a kind of uncomfortable idea, but imagine... There's, we've got timeline A and B. Our original Rintaro is in timeline A. And suddenly he gets sent to timeline B. And in timeline B, there was, there was a Rintaro and Mayuri. And those two were here, you know, they were in the same place for some reason. I guess <laughs> that'd be quite a coincidence, but, and so... Rintaru from Timeline A. Rintaru A, I guess. How would you describe this? Replaces or, or overwrites Rintaru B? Something like that? That's, that's my first thought here. Which is... I don't know if that's the case. It's uncomfortable to think about for several reasons. But then that would... So... That would mean Rintaro B, along with Mayuri B, were at the same area, maybe for a different reason. Like, maybe... I don't know, that this... 
satellite crashed into a building and Rintaro B wanted to go see it or something like that. And so it just so happened that both Rintaros happened to be in the same area at the same time. Because then that would match up with what I'm calling Mayuri B saying um, how, what are you talking about, Rintaro? There, were no, there was no people here when we came, when we walked there, when we were there. Um, I don't know if that's what we're going for. That's just my initial thought there. Um, but I don't understand the whole, the email was sent seven days ago, and now it's been split into three parts, and it's not even the whole message. Huh. Is this another organization conspiracy? I want to know. Ask her about her memories of, of. Like, does she recognize you? Because cause the, the Makise Kurisu that we met before Nakabachi's presentation said that she had seen us before. So has, has, has she seen us before now? What was this? Honorifics. Uh, Japanese employ Japanese employs a system of name suffixes that define the speaker's re speaker's relationship to the addressee. The common honorific honorifics are as follows: San, the most common honorific, used with strangers, people of equal status, and in general, whenever one needs to be polite when used after a given name, Kyoma-san, it indicates a closer relationship. Kun, an informal name suffix, generally used for male friends or male subordinates. Also used by males toward female subordinates in professional environments. Chan, a diminutive suffix that indicates a high affection used for usually usually used for small children, young girls, or between close female friends. Tan, an even more diminutive version of the Chan suffix, most often used for fictional characters, especially anthropomorphists. That them, anthropomorphists. Anthropomorphizations for added cuteness. She, a literary honorific generally used by formal publications such as newspapers, <coughs> some otaku such as Daru use she regularly. Yep. There's also Sama. I know that one. Uh, yes. Looks like she's. I'm sorry, I'm. I'm bleh. Why do I? Let me get a drink of water. My throat's getting dry. Looks like she finally understands I'm not lying. But I still don't understand why my memories don't match everyone else's. I doubt that I can give her a good explanation. Just then an older man steps out of the assembly hall. Makise-san, it's Chris who glances at me one more time, then sighs and head towards the small conference room. Okarin, to the end, Bokra Moikoze. Ikuto a do you imita? Kogio Kikini Kitandaro. See, it's weird because. Rintaro, our Rintaro, the, our perspective character here, wasn't wasn't surprised about going to the seminars. I mean, that was something they had scheduled, right? Uh, huh. All right. Daru follows after Krisu. Did she come to attend the lecture too? Strange. Why would the girl genius, Makise Kurisu, need to attend a lecture like this? I don't know, maybe she's giving a, giving the lecture. Okay, my guess was a bit off. The girl genius didn't come to attend the lecture. Ah. 
There it is. Japan's famous girl genius, Makise Kurisu, who had her thesis published at the tender age of 17. How come the, uh, why did the, the newspaper say American? Do you remember that? But it says, I mean, her name's obviously looking Japanese. Did it say that she was American, or did it say that she had her thesis published in America? I can't recall. It might have been that. According to Daru, she turned 18 just a few days ago. I first heard about her when Daru pointed her out in the Gossip Magazine article. That's when he told me that she was going to, ha going to be a guest at ATF. I'd forgotten all about it. <laughs> The audience is pretty mixed. It's mostly students like us, but there are a couple of professors. And Clarissa just gave me a sharp look. What did I do? When I return her stare, she quickly averts her eyes. Hm. I don't care if she's a genius or whatever, I still don't like her. She may have these people fooled with her timid girl act, but I learned at Radikan how cunning and aggressive she really is. Even if her murder was some kind of hallucination, my judgment of her character is still correct. Okay, so maybe we'll get more of an explanation now. Time machine. It's funny how this is kind of a consistent thing that's happened now with both Nakabachi and, and with her and her now. Every member of the audience, not just Kurisu, is startled by my interruption. Perhaps I'm being slightly rude here, but I'm not just going to sit and listen to some genius girl's drivel. Time machine to to make <laughs> Sitting at my side, Daru throws me a small salute. ATF staff are approaching, probably to kick me out. Perhaps I got too carried away. D does this just happen at every lecture you go to? Thanks to her proposal, the event staff refrain from escorting me out. She sounds a little pissed, but uh, let's not mind that. Eleven. All right. This is, uh, I don't know if any of this is uh, true or not. I just know, uh, my, my knowledge of time travel comes from various media, you know, whether, st you know, uh, written stories or shows or movies, so, but I don't, uh, I don't know any, if there have been any real theoretical, you know, anything actually written regarding this. So, uh, I guess we'll find out. Hmm, what are the major theories of time travel? I have heard about the cosmic string theory, at least. Eleven theories. Uh huh. Okay. Well. 
Okay. I recognize some of these words. Most of them. I've, I've definitely seen the word tachyon before, but if you ask me to tell you what it is, I couldn't. <laughs> um, right. Well. Okay. Lay it on me. <laughs> hmm. Not bad. Perhaps Makisa Kurisu is a worthy rival after all. でも、Damn. She twisted my question and used it against me. Touché, genius girl. Suddenly I feel eyes on me. Some puffed up professors are giving me hard looks from across the room. Maybe I got too carried away. I don't want to risk losing my credits. I should uh, back off for now. Theory of Relativity refers to both Einstein's Special Rel Theory of Relativity, published in 1905, and his General Rel Theory of Relativity, published in 1916, represented by the famous equation equal E equals mc squared. The Theory of Relativity can be or is defined by the following axioms. Objects cannot travel faster than the speed of light. As velocity approaches the speed of light, the passage of time approaches zero. As velocity approaches the speed of light, length approaches zero. As velocity approaches the speed of light, mass approaches infinity. The general theory of relativity adds the following axioms. In the presence of large gravitational fields, the passage of time slows down. In the presence of large gravitational fields, space curves. In the presence of large gravitational fields, mass increases. Yeah, I've seen, um, what's that one movie? Uh, the daughter's name is Murphy, the, the one astronaut going to space, then at one, at one point they go to a, a planet with a uh, high gravity, or it's a, or something like that, I think. And uh, time, time is, is slower for them, but everywhere else it, it increases, I think. At some point, you you know what I'm talking about if you uh, if you know. Um, but I can't remember the title right now. So I got that. I, I understand that one. But I couldn't tell you about these two. Nor do I... I got that. Conceptually, sure. But these parts... I'm not sure I understand. Uh, so yeah. I mean, you know, like pretty much everyone's heard of E equals M C squared, but you couldn't I couldn't tell you what it what you know, what it actually means. Uh okay. Explain how it is relevant in this case, please. <laughs> 目的地に降り立った時、その人は10億分の1秒くらい私より未来に進んでいる。What does 
それが相対性理論ですから。極論を言えば光と同じほどの速さで走ることができたら流れる時間はその人だけ半分になるわけで24時間その速度で走り続ければ周囲では48時間が経ったことになるから丸1日分未来へ飛んだことになるんですよ法王院京馬さん。<笑> Why are you singling me out? I'm doing my best to hold back, but it looks like Maki Sakurisu wants to pick up a fight. I wish that she hadn't said that name in front of so many people. It's too great a risk to let others know my true name. So, there are Helikuts, there are Naikana. Now, Professor calmly makes an objection. True, Maki Sakurisu's example isn't strictly time travel per se, but I never expected an older man, a professor at that, to refute an 18 year old girl. Maybe he's just testing the genius girl's resilience. So, this is it. The genius girl readily concedes the point. If she were a normal 18 year old girl, it would be impossible for her to be this calm in front of all these people. A normal 18 year old would panic when they were refuted by such a distinguished looking professor. And yet, Maki Sekurisu is giving off an air of gutsiness that says, I can take this guy on. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard it. Heard of this. Yeah, the, this, the thing where it's. There are some stars that are already, you know,、uh, they've already exploded, gone supernova, but we don't know yet. And to us, it looks like it's still there. It's just the,、uh, the light from that explosion has not reached us yet. Something like that. This time, it's a nearby student who objects. Is it me, or is it just me, or did Krisu look a little nervous just now? String shaped crevice. That must be how they enter our universe. But do cosmic strings really exist? Okay. Elementary particle, the smallest unit of matter. However, the definition of what constitutes an elementary particle is unclear. Certain elementary particles have a corresponding antiparticle particle of the opposite charge. What's the.、Uh, I can recall a few years back hearing about. What is it? The Higgs boson? What was that? I know that was something that was discovered.、Uh, I, I don't know. I'm not sure what it was, though. Hmm. Okay. Is that so? Is it like positrons and anti positrons? Stuff like that, maybe? Gorea, Kyodaina Stilio de Ariga Yueni, Jiku, Yugamir Seisto Motirun des. So no Yuganda Jiku, Himo, Tusini, Anataga, Guru, to issue Sirto. Sandia Kurokju do inai de Mawari Kirikotoga de Kiri. ワープみたいなことができるということ。これ、時空の角度欠損って言います。角度欠損しているところを通過すると、そこは欠損しちゃってますので、通過時間はゼロになる。これを応用して、宇宙紐が高速に近い速さで運動しているとき、相対性理論
宙ひもの時間は周囲より遅くなるから歪んでいる角度欠損の領域を通過すると本来ゼロだった通過時間がマイナスになる、so、that means... つまり通過後の方が過去になっているわけで2本の宇宙ひもを使って空間欠損ジャンプを行い元の地点まで周回するように戻ってくるとちょうど周回を開始したのと同じ時間に戻ってくることができるざっくり言っちゃうとそれが宇宙ひも理論によるタイムトラベルですちなみに誤解しないでほしいのは宇宙ひも理論は超ひも理論とは別物ということです、oh, well, I was totally thinking that, obviously, yes. What are these? Superstring theory. In physics, the theory that all matter in the universe is composed of strings and that the vibrations of these strings manifest as elementary particles. This theory, which posits 11 dimensions, is currently impossible to prove experimentally. However, it is said that if this theory were to be proven, it would explain all phenomena from the birth and scope of the universe on the macro level to elementary particles, like quarks on the micro level. Okay. So, you are the one who is 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 の h e one who is the 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 one who is エネルギーが必要です銀河と同じ長さのひび割れを光並みに加速させるにはどのくらいのエネルギーがいるんでしょうね少なくとも<笑> 1.21 ジゴワット以上なのは確かです 1.21 ジゴワットああ、I see Originates from a 1980s trilogy of Hollywood movies about time to time to time to time to time In the first movie, the inventor of the time machine said that it needed 1.21 gigawatts of power to travel through time. In reality, the unit gigawatt does not exist. The scriptwriter made a spelling mistake. The correct unit is gigawatt. Yes, yes. I see the game likes references. This earns a few chuckles from the audience. So, no, Sam. Uchu Himo got to go to the next day, but the crew time is not too sad. Time to travel through the time. これに乗らないといけません。I guess the, you know, I was, I was trying to picture it in my head, but the, I guess these are not things you, you can picture really because they're so small. Okay. As long as a galaxy, but only as big as these elementary particles. And, and, These are all, she said they're all purely theoretical at this point, right? So it's not like we know these exist, or do we? I don't know. I'm not,、uh, I don't read the, the, the up to date science journals, or the past ones either. <laughs> How is it? 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 Why the hell is she addressing me? I wasn't even the one who jeered this time. Oh, Isa, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it. But I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it. But I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it. But I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it. But I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it. But I'm not sure if That's the holes the worms go into, of course. No, don't ask me, I'm trying to hold back here. Since I've been challenged, though, I can't leave a question unanswered. Whew, I got it right. I sigh inwardly in relief. の穴があってそれはトンネルでつながっているトンネルは通過時間ゼロで通り抜けられる2つの穴がどれだけ離れていてもねだけどここで残念なお知らせ
ワームホールのトンネルは超重力がかかっていて開通すると同時に潰れちゃいますだからかかる重力を無効化するために何らかの細工をしなくちゃダメなのいわゆるエキゾチック物質これはマイナスの重さを持つ物質で重力に反発するんです Wow That's some pretty incredible stuff Negative mass, huh? Is it something that floats if you leave it on the ground? Maybe not I can't even begin to imagine what it would be like. Chris who raises her right fist. Chris who opens her fists. エキゾチック物質を注入してワームホールを安定させれば瞬間移動は可能になりますでもタイムトラベルをするにはそこからもう一手間必要ここでは仮にワームホールの入り口側の穴がこの秋葉原に出口側にある穴が LA にあるとしましょうまず LA にある穴を光に近い速さで宇宙の果てまで飛ばしちゃってくださいそして果てまで行ったらすぐに LA に引っ張り戻す。は、uh, い。体性理論により光の速さで動くと時間は遅く流れる。LA に戻ってきた穴は秋葉原にある穴よりも過去にあるということになります。というわけでその状態でホーンイさんがワームホールに飛び込んだら。数年前の LA に行けるでしょう I, I, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure I understand. I don't understand. <laughs> でもこの時点ではまだタイムトラベルをしたことにはなりません。Urashima effect. This is relatively a phenomenon originating from the fact that time slows down as an object approaches the speed of light. For example, imagine that an astronaut travels to a nearby star and back at a close speed at close to the speed of light. This shift might take a few years from the astronaut's perspective, but he would return to Earth to find that thousands of years had taken place or had passed in his absence. So, implementation of either of one or either one would require a ridiculous amount of effort. Bakarashi to Saisho ni tari yuwa, bakate morai mashtaka. Time to travel no lidon wa, dore mo shiko jikken des. So, dera no lidon kara dewa, jisai ni time machine o tsukuru koto wa deki nai to yu koto. So, dera watashi kara no kaito des. Good to know. Good to know that it's all just theoretical. もっと簡単なものはないんですか例えば机の引き出しを開けるだけで使えるものとかないですね Firm declaration. 結局現代の物理学じゃそこが限界10年後にはどうなってるか分かりませんがそれに
仮にもっと簡単に過去へ行ける方法が発見されたとしても実際に行けるとは限らない因果率に関する根本的な問題が解決されていませんから principle of causality a scientific a philosophical principle that states that every event has a cause and it is by that cause that an effect is produced however quantum physicists have observed microscale phenomena that do not appear to obey the principle of causality theory of relativity is founded upon this pr principle time paradox the mass of the entire universe is constant If a time machine travels from the, traveled from the future to the past, there would suddenly be an extra mass of the time machine and its pilot in the past. I remember reading in a book, not a terribly reputable book, but still, that such a violation of mass conservation would put the universe in danger. It didn't sway what kind of danger. It didn't say what kind of danger, though. What? Is that true? <laughs> ah, she's laughing at my reaction. That little. God, how mortifying. Arewa, Kagaku Hano, and Tai Sir Hosok this Kanaikara. Yendai Busriga to Noite, a Matak Serit Shinai. Mukara, you are. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Oh, that thing where you kill your own ancestors before you were born. Is this where, uh... We get into uh, splitting timelines and that sort of thing. Maybe. No, yeah. yeah. We, we heard in the very beginning of the game it, the, the butterfly effect. It's, you know, anything minor. It, it, anything. We're, we're talking like atoms, you know, just. Taking a step somewhere, crunching a twig, you know, anything could, could ripple out. Really? It doesn't seem that dangerous. Paradox だから、たとえ例点例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例例
I'm gonna have to watch this back and take notes. Ugh, stretch. Okay. All right. Yep. Okay, I've been the warm. This has been Steins Gate. We're uh, getting into the heavy stuff. So it may take me a little while to unravel some of it. I guess I should at least mark down the theories she mentioned. Not write them out, just but just make a note of them. Okay, hope to see you next time. See you then. Bye-bye.